hey friend smash that subscribe button it really helps us out also we have hundreds of videos and playlists on here for you and then we started out in the timestamps so a lot of the videos you can jump around and get right to the information you want and then we even start adding captions so you can pick your language enjoy the video Hey YouTube, I'm on my way back to get with uh, carbs and I wanted to show something that I don't recall showing in a long time as far as parts to the parts washer and organization and so on. So here's a set that I just got out of this little parts washer uh, bin and what I want to do is I want to carry it over to the parts washer in something with no holes so that nothing gets lost. And then this is just an old pencil bin you get from Walmart, dollar store, or whatnot. What you can see is I've drilled a whole bunch of little holes in there, which is gonna allow the ultrasonic fluid to get down in there and do its work. It does an amazing job. So you can see here, this is, you know, ones that haven't been done yet. And you can see here that this is a set that's been cleaned and is gonna be ready for installation. I mean, these are out of the cleaner, but just need kind of fine clean. That's why I got some little toothbrushes and stuff here, and I'll kind of work on that. And then what I'll do is I'll transfer it to its new home where everything's clean and good to go. That's a used slide. You can see here how bad the dirty ones were. This is one that was actually torn. It looks like a hot mess. Still got some of the cleaning bits and stuff like this, but here's the goal. The goal is once I get the parts cleaned and where I say, okay, you are ready to go back into the carburetor, they're gonna make it to this clean white sheet, to this bin that's just ready to go. The carburetors are all labeled, the totes are labeled so that everything goes back in the exact same place. Uh, I've even taken a scratch all and I'll mark these bowls just because the fact that sometimes the, the drain might be on a different side left or right. Just depends on the model, but let's uh, run over to the parts washer and show you what I'm talking about. Well, ultrasonic to be clear, because these have already all been ran through a little mineral spirits at some point just to get the real heavy stuff off. And you can see my little work area here. I got the vapor blaster, I got the uh, mineral spirits washer. If you haven't seen this, this is super rad too. I took and put just a traditional hose there, you know, on it out of the pump, got rid of the wand. Might still be laying under here, you know, one of those guys. But look what I did. Put a transmission oil filter mount, just an everyday automotive transmission filter. It takes about every kind of spin on. I don't really care. I can get different ones. You can see uh, just another version there. And then the outlet of that goes here. And I'll tell you what, this fluid stays crazy crazy clean just a little dish hand holder to keep parts off the metal if needed this is just by far been one of my favorite parts washers put the little foam around there so it stays sealed and tight has a little drain pan here if i want to drain something pretty cool but um i've got a member video on that thing you gotta see what that one is if you're a member join but here's the uh parts wash or the ultrasonic i should say one thing i don't have in this corner yet that i want see if we can do this one-handed is i need one of my little led lights here wouldn't that be nice yeah so since i am trying to do this one-handed i don't want to intentionally move that upside down just go ahead here and let the water fill up i got this good and hot if you're using ultrasonic tanks you are going to want to make them hot I can actually see my lights off, so I'm good to go. And did you notice the little rubber band around there? I might want to put a couple on there if it's a used rubber band. You can tend to see those break. You know, the great thing about this, I've got a screen inside of here, so if I did lose something in there, I could catch it in the drain, and you could see my little bucket uh, down here. So I'm definitely not going to lose anything, and that's the whole point of the white tote is to just make sure there's no way from the carb to the bench to wherever your cleaning station is, you're gonna lose something. I think that's probably, you know, one of the, the biggest problems I've seen technicians over the years is they'll lose parts walking across the shop floor and just not know it. Might be a little dial pin, might be just a uh, little clip or something they just didn't have off, things like that. That's fine to float a little bit. Like I said, all that fluid's in there. What some people will do, before I turn this on, what some people will do would actually use glass jars and then they'll keep the, the solvent or just pure water in here and only put solvent in the glass jar. I've got just, let's see if we can see them in here. Might be too dark. 
Yeah, you can see a bunch of glass jars down there. <laughs> it's I know it's dark on the camera, but they're just pickle jars. Those are nice if you got like small parts or small carburetor where you just, then all you gotta do is take the solvent, whatever it is that you're wanting to use. This is my favorite stuff. I just ran out for aluminum. Love this stuff. You gotta get the Simple Green D. I learned that from another YouTuber and they're right. This stuff works awesome. But I got a whole bunch of other cleaners in there to try. You know, sometimes you just use something because it works. But hey, before I fire this up, that was my tip. Um, I just wanted to say, if you haven't done so yet, please join the channel. It's a way to support us. Best $2 a month you ever spent. If you're new here, smash that subscribe. We're about ready to hit the 100000 We want to party with you. We're going to give away tools and a bunch of other cool stuff. And uh, lots of cool videos coming up. Got uh, you know the old Ducati, the 75. We got a new one. There's a 2007. Well, new. Shoot, 2007. It's not new anymore. 1098 is going to be an X-Track bike. We have the old 95 900 SP. That's going to be cool. Got crash bars they're making for the Supermoto. Harley, if I ever get around to it, it's kind of been on the back burner since my Suzuki Adventure Bike's doing so good. And then I even dug out the uh, the old 145. That's a 145 cubic inch choppa. And I'm just kind of trying to, you know, pick off projects on each one of them, keep them going, keep them fresh. The dirt bikes are done and been using those, been out riding. Got awesome some here in Phoenix. And man, just got a lot of stuff We're still trying to wrap up. So like, share, subscribe, all that great stuff. Make it a great day. And as always, keep wrenching.